Hello everyone, hello, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to Abstract Medicine. Thank you so much for joining, thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you for having followed me for uh, quite some time on Instagram. I have now removed myself from this platform. I exist as an avatar on that platform, but now I'm going to be doing and conducting uh, general messages that you need to hear for the collective based on divine love and also your divine purpose here, right here on YouTube. So thank you and congratulations for finding me here uh, via my website. So thank you so much and also welcome for those of you who are new to my channel, Abstract Medicine. You may or may not know I'm an artist and also a healer. So let's get into it. Let's just see what the general messages are for the collective uh, in terms of whatever needs to come through, whatever needs to come through. Okay, so I'm just going to call in guidance from angels and uh, from the Grandfather Spirit too. Mm. Beautiful, thank you. So we have a card here, as you probably can see, that's come through. And we have Farti Vispiacevi. Some of you have been going through some really difficult cycles. Very strong, um, very strong energy here. Three, I would say this is possibly the Three of Wands. Uh, and also maybe an energy of the Three of Swords. So for those of you who understand tarot, that would mean, um, you know, upsets in terms of heartbreak or separation from your divine love, maybe even confusion about your own divine purpose too. Some of you may have uh, felt like you missed out on an opportunity as well. Um, of course, that's not going to resonate with everyone. So let's see what else is here. We have Ayuti Positivi. So there's you know, positive help coming through, maybe from a Sagittarius energy, does not have to be, um, but it's the energy of someone who is very passionate, someone who knows exactly what they want and they go for it. We have inganni, dubbi and diffidare. So there is something here where someone might be um, confused a little bit or slightly doubtful, but I, I, feel like they're, I feel like they're coming towards you, I'm hearing. That's what I'm hearing here. We have invidia and gelosia. This is quite common in divine love connections where um, there is maybe some jealousy about this uh, physical divine union taking place or that will take place. For those of you who are already in a connection with someone, your divine love, in a relationship as well, um, you know, energy doesn't lie, I always say in my readings. So, you know, people, people sense that. People sense that it's coming together or they sense that you're meant to be in a power couple dynamic as well. Um, here in abstract medicine, it's LGBTQ plus here, so it does not matter in terms of, you know, your identity as well, um, heterosexual or otherwise relationships, yeah? So we have Il Bagato, which talks about the magician here. Someone is wanting to create and has the, feels that they have the ability and the passion and the drive to do so here, especially here with very strong Sagittarius energy with the magician and this card here, Cavallo di Spade. Cavallo di Spade is a knight of swords. So I would say that someone is wanting to move towards you to communicate something, communicate their truth. They're wanting to manifest um, manner from heaven, I'm hearing. So they're wanting to manifest um, communication. They're wanting to manifest gold here as well. I feel like they have the Midas touch at this time. We have uh, Riuscita Novita Buone. So after some difficult cycles, maybe in terms of work, maybe there's someone here who is now... Um, less less in um, I'm hearing angosha so less stressed out about work maybe they've come through with an opening in terms of an opportunity at work um, but they're also feeling hopeful as well about moving through and forward this could be something to do with uh, current situations in terms of lockdowns and travel restrictions now being open cattiverie uh, rotture there has been a separation here on account of someone being quite uh well, spiteful, really. And I do see a separation here. I also see the Eight of Swords here as well. Um, so I, I just feel like there is a, a difficult cycle that's ended and there could have been like a bust up um, argument that may have just combusted and then that was just their, their last straw. And they moved out of that relationship situation. Obviously take it as it resonates, please and thank you. Uh, let's have a look at these two cards that are coming through we have ritardi periodo negativo stress esaurimento yeah so of course we have you know someone who has gone through a difficult cycle someone who has met been met with many delays 
um, and negative, um, you know, phases, negative um, periods in their life. I feel like this person, if this person has not moved towards you yet in terms of love and also in terms of work, someone coming towards you to offer you an opportunity uh, in terms of work, I do see that um, they're kind of on the brink of an understanding about you, your abilities, your creativity. We could be dealing with two creatives here. We could be dealing with um, someone in the public eye as well in terms of divine love match. He wants to uh, create something with you. Um, and I feel like they're kind of on the brink of illumination. Um, they are quite stressed in their head about this possibly. With the eight of wands, I do see that that talks about movement and travel. This could involve um, maybe them needing to make some extra cash in order to travel towards you if, there are, if they are at a global distance from you. They could even be from the next town or something, um, but there's something that they had to close out uh, that was very stressful in their life so that they could move towards you. And then here it is. There's a tower card that I was mentioning that I was picking up on. Yeah, so we have um, la torre upside down, so the tower, rotture e separazioni, which is exactly it. It's a breakage, a breakup, a separation. This also talks about someone who has um, gone through an illumination, um, an awakening, a sudden understanding, a sudden realization that you are the one and they need to make moves towards you. You are the one. They need to make some money as well. They need to feel financially stable in order towards, to move towards you as well, I would say. I'm not picking up on divine feminine energies just yet. I'm mainly picking up on divine masculine energy. Again, I do also see that this is someone who sees you as a wish fulfillment here, Rapporti Buoni, which is the Ten of Cups. Uh, wait, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, Ten of Cups. <laughs> um, yeah, and I see that they would find amazing harmony and balance here with you too. Peace, emotional expression, compassion, and lots and lots of love. Uh, their desires would be met with, with being with you if this is uh, love related, yeah, high vibrational, divine love, that great love. Um, I also see that this person sees you as someone who is kind of like a, a magic, a magician, or someone who could be dealing, uh, uh, dealing with uh, or working with the spiritual arts. Um, and also I would say that this is someone who sees you as um, someone who's able to manifest, someone who's very powerful. I also just saw a wink um, of the uh, cancer card. We also have La Temperanza. So we do see also someone who may be um, seeing someone as very tempered, very balanced, you know, very measured, yeah, very, vir very virtuous. We also have Il Trionfo di Pivota Superati, so, or Superate, which does talk about triumph, yeah. Three of, uh, three of Cups, as you probably know if you read Tarot, talks about celebrations and also friendships. So there could be a really, a sudden realization about a friendship that is changing into something more romantic. We have La Temperanza, which is all about uh, positive links and attachments as well. So I feel like there could be a connection here which involves a uh, commitment here. And then with Il Mato, which is another very strong fire energy here, we have the fool here. You know, you have to be a bit nuts, <laughs> a bit foolish in order to start something new. And I feel like this person has maybe a little bit of doubt, but they have enough passion and understanding and, uh, and understanding about how amazing and magical you are, that they're wanting and willing to move towards you. They may feel themselves, because we have Il Mato upside down, they may feel a little bit like they're a little bit immature, you know, and slightly out of balance. And I feel like right now at this point in time, they're trying to balance out, you know, their energies um, and finances as well and closing out cycles as well for those of you them, of them who have not done that yet in order to move towards you. So this is really beautiful energy. We also have very strong Mars energy here. So that is telling me that we are dealing with a divine masculine energy. They could have been through the wars maybe with someone else that they were dealing with in terms of a relationship or even a situation. We have Ostacoli Superati, which is the Ace of Swords here. So absolutely want to start a new line of communication here for those of you who've been in separation from this person. If it's work related, I do feel like um, there could be something in terms of news from work or communication that needs to be cleared out, a uh, clear slate that needs to be sorted out here, I would say. Um, with Hipocrisia and Boria, um, we have the Eight of Pentacles upside down. Some of you have been at a distance from your harvest, which means that you have worked hard for your money, um, but you haven't seen the fruit of your labour just yet. Uh, the cards are saying that you need to have patience here um, for this to come through because communication is going to be coming through here with the Ace of Swords. 
Um, I would say that it's going to be quite soon. I think uh, with strong Sagittarius energy, there could be a need to be a little bit more balanced with your savings and what your, um, you know, your expenditure as well. At least from now, from the time of video uh, recording, which is July to December here, I do see that. Um, there's also the the zodiac of Aries here, which I probably picked up on earlier too, which could be significant. We have one in Otizia and Vantaggi, which would talk about you know good news um, and profits gained as well. Also, this energy of balancing out your your energy, balancing out your money as well. I do also see in terms of love, I feel that there is someone here who sees you as someone who is very balanced, grounded, very earthly and rooted. Also a little bit of an angel and maybe a magician. So someone who's very peculiar, a bit of a unicorn, very odd <laughs> individual in a good way. We've got the eight of cups here. Riflettere eh, prima di agire. So I feel like you're also someone who um, reflects, you know, you, you, you think before you act, you know, before you react as well. You know, I feel like this person sees you as highly, um, highly virtuous, I would say. Let's keep going. Let's see what else we can bring through. I hope you're enjoying my reading, this reading from Spirit to help and guide you on your path today and moving forward whenever that will be. Um, I'm a, someone that just really doesn't really deal with time. So I would say uh, my readings are timeless. Um, but of course, take it as you know, take the messages as they resonate for the time that you feel <laughs> you're going to tune into them, but also for the time that you feel is necessary. Um, I give you some hints in terms of the zodiac signs, which could be the zodiac season. So we do have um, Scorpio season here with a tower, Sagittarius season as well, which would be, um, what is it, Scorpio is October, November, and Sagittarius is December. I feel like things are changing here. Some of you are healing some wounds as well in terms of your family line, because that's what Scorpio does talk about as well, it's, you know, karma, deep wounds that are, that are going to be cleared or are being cleared from the time of this reading to those those seasons that I mentioned. We have accodam, uh, accomodamento di familia, yeah, so we have the ten of pentacles here, ansia pericoli di perdite, and we have risultati non raggiunti errori. So I feel like, um, you know, maybe someone was in a connection, maybe both of you were in a connection, if this is in terms of delight, divine love, um, where you were in a relationship with someone who you really thought you were going to go the distance with um, and it just didn't work out, you know. We also have a super fresh, super fresh, superficialità in genere. So, you know, this was a kind of like a false twin flame connection, a false divine love connection where you may have been committed with someone here with il papa, the pope upside down, the head priest upside down, reversed. Um, and this talks about marriages here, yeah, so it was upside down. It, this wasn't true, this wasn't a true love connection, I would say. And, you know, this brought about a lot of tension, a lot of anxiety. Um, maybe when you were with this person, what happened is you just felt depleted, stanket and stress is someone who you just feel exhausted, You someone who's draining your energy in terms of this divine love that you thought was, was actually a false divine love, yeah? And they were draining your energy as well. The Six of Cups reverse talks about a false um, soulmate. Yeah, Six of Cups usually, as you probably know through the tarot, is a soulmate. Someone that you have instant recognition, familiarity, conversation flows naturally. You know, passion is, is very natural. It flows as well um, in terms of sexual communication, love languages, um, as well as communication in general. Similar interests, maybe. But there was just, it was just all a bit upside down. And I feel like both of you have dealt with that, uh, I would say. Um, with uh, risultati non raggiunti errori, some of you may have felt that you were, you, you made a mistake uh, in the selection of this person. Maybe someone um, is taking a while or has taken a while to come out of that relationship and they're realizing that you were the one and they, they were dealing with someone who they were not meant to be with and therefore made a mistake on love. I feel like they've closed it out or they're on their way out to closing this situation in terms of love. You could be dealing with someone who's a Taurus here as well. We have positività alla domanda. So we have some good news coming through. Uh, so answers are being, um, uh, your answers are being, uh, your questions are being answered or your, let's say your prayers are being answered here with, the knight of wands here in terms of someone who matches you in every single way including in passions and desires i would say also in terms of hobbies right 
as well like maybe you have similar hobbies maybe there's also in terms of work your um your um your work is also you're becoming more interested in terms of your um your hobbies so your hobbies are actually things that um you may have dealt with in your past life you know or your recent past life so say for example it's um cartomancy you know it's, this is because you um were a witch in a past life for example or someone that you really love plants and um and it's because you made medicine through you know natural plant re remedies or something like that so i feel like your hobbies are also changing and are becoming more and more of a reflection of who you are you're coming more into your true self and i would say that you know you're making moves further and further into you what you love to do what you desire and it's again it's because you have this connection from your past life that um, is calling the strings of your heart here. With um, the Page of Swords, I'm, I'm seeing here Prudence here. Um, so usually in the tower, tower card, interesting, the tower is coming up through my um, Claire Audi auditory sense here. Um, so yeah, there could be something here where, there could be something here where um, you may have been dealing with um, someone who, you yourself may have been dealing with someone who was incredibly karmic um, and didn't allow you to do what you wanted to do in terms of your passions. I've just got to put the fan on because <laughs> there's a few mosquitoes about um, where I'm filming. So we also have Confusione esagerazione as well so we have some confusions maybe maybe you were dealing with some confusions in your past where you were confused about your hobbies you're confused about to be honest i'm seeing this as your life purpose and i feel like you've maybe during the during the last year during 2020 2021 as well you've been looking within you've been reflecting you've been going within maybe through meditation as well and you've been calling in as above so below so i feel like you're becoming more and more in tune with starting um, to to believe in the impossible but also starting to become more and more spiritual and so that means that whatever you are extricating from uh, your clearances in terms of maybe work a job and also relationships you're becoming more and more in tune with your authentic self which is which is reflected outwardly and so your hobbies are, are turning into your actual life purpose Again, it's going to be very specific to your situation. I'm reading for quite a few different energies here, different people. Uh, usually I, I do say that, you know, you're more than welcome to uh, book a private reading with me. But at this time, I'm not taking private sessions. I will do soon and I'll let you know about it, of course. Um, if you do feel like this reading is, you know, resonating with you so far, please do make a donation in terms of an energy exchange if you feel called to if you can't do it and if you can't afford it right now totally understandable i actually have found a lot of cartomancy readings um very helpful for me at a time when i was going through major changes in my life and i would go um to you know get guidance from free readers as well but yeah i also see that with uh, there's some exaggerated confusion maybe that was met in the past in terms of like what do i do where am i going <laughs> um i also see within math though i feel like you, you want to move forward here uh you want to move towards your goals here if that's not been met yet i feel like you want to start something new you want to start a new cycle in your life it's like a complete change in your life as well i feel like some of you are also changing your diet changing um your way of life changing the people that you surround yourself with as well as what you found was of interest is now changing uh, yeah, chiacchiere, uh, chiacchiere and confusione talks about gossip. So maybe you were dealing with people that were very gossipy, perdita ostacoli. I feel like these are people that blocked you um, from moving towards your your higher path, including love and your high, life, your life purpose too. Superamento degli ostacoli. Yes, you. Some of you have already moved away from those situations as well. You definitely. Um, I'm hearing supreme. So some of you are becoming more and more proud of your achievements and also as a, a result you're also becoming more prudent and you're creating barriers between you and people that just stand in your way. I don't feel like it's a negative thing, I think it's it's necessary because we have we only live one life um, <laughs> in the physical and you know we may as well make that this life count and I feel like a lot of you are making these um, 
you know, sudden realizations about that. Vita sgregolata, perdita ostacoli. I feel like, I feel like uh, your life, you've been quite um, frugal with your money as well. Maybe you've been worried about it too, maybe insecure about your money. I feel like this could be a divine masculine who may be worried about their finances or, you know, they may be worried about, uh, I don't know if I'm, you know, able, I don't know if I'm worthy, I don't know if I'm worthy of this person's love and affection even, because I do see them as seeing you as someone who's very balanced, very worthy and, and sort of like marriage material here. You could be dealing with a cancer here, this is a very strong cancer energy, a carro, uh, which is the chariot here, maybe they've been in hermit mode for some time, also going through um, a spiritual awakening themselves, maybe they've been going to a teacher here with the Pope, with Papa, um, you know, for some spiritual guidance too. Contrarietà, ostacoli si supera con difficoltà. So I feel like they've, they're actually, I would say that this person is very determined to win your affections, but also they're very determined in terms of their career, just generally speaking. I feel like they go for what they want and they're just not going to stop. I feel like they're like a challenge too. This is someone who's very courageous. Donna volubile, capricciosa. I feel like they could have been dealing with someone who um, was quite volatile and also quite um, spoiled <laughs> with the Queen of Pentacles or Queen of Coins here. This could have been a, uh, you know, an Earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus that they may have been dealing with, uh, with whom they've separated from, you know, in a marriage or maybe have separated from just as a, as a relationship, a long-standing commitment. Successo amore disinteressato. So I feel like this person, um, you know, may have gone through some sort of awakening here with the tower and just said, look, um, uh, they thought that this person was their match and ended up realizing uh, with a brutal awakening here. May have, they may have like been through some sort of like a midlife crisis energy does not matter what age that this was. Um, they thought, well, yeah, I'm with the right person, and then ended up just thinking, no, they're not. They're not the right person. This person is totally disinterested in me. This person is just not switched on. They're there, but they're not there. I'm seeing someone in my mind's eye who is seeing another person that they were with as someone who just had like a glazed look. So they were there physically, but they weren't present in the connection. With ostacoli and imbarazzi, I feel like this person was ashamed of this connection, actually. I don't feel, I also feel like the person they were dealing with were also um, just ashamed of being with this person. I feel like they wanted to get what they wanted to get, um, some kind of, I, I just heard succubus. So someone who was quite vampiric um, and used this person for their own public recognition, for example, um, to make themselves look good. Uh, and I feel like they were just ain't mainly interested in the money, honey. That's what I'm hearing. Ingani and tradimenti. I feel like this person had betrayed um, your uh, divine match, actually, um, one way or another through financial, like maybe through stealing or even through um, an affair. Let's get, uh, yeah, so this person was not their soulmate that they were dealing with. Um, in terms of work, I feel like there's been some delays in terms of work that this person was dealing with uh, successes in terms of work. Maybe you were were as well, but to be honest, divine feminine energies, I feel like you've already gone through this cycle and I feel like your match is going through this right now. Ansia, solitudine, fine di amore, odia amicizia. So that's exactly it. This is the upside down version of the sun card, which would normally normally talk about happiness, joy, you know, lots of harmony and health, you know, and well-being. But actually, um, they have been very anxious and they have come out of a relationship. If this has not occurred just yet, this is what's occurring right now. Um, let's see what else. We have Giovane Leale Positivo. So as a result, we're now seeing someone who is coming into their own here. Someone who, um, despite of their losses, maybe even financial and also in terms of a relationship that they've broken up from. Um, they're feeling positive and they are loyal to you. We have Donna Gelosa, Fredda, Calcolatrice. So we have a Queen of Wands here, which is the person that they were dealing with. This was someone who was very calculated. This could have been an, an Aries, Gemini, um, Sagittarius energy. It doesn't have to be. Uh, and this is someone who is incredibly jealous here and calculated because they know, because energy never lies, as I always say, they know that the person that they were with 
um, was destined for a great love, you know. And we have Redi Spade, Nemico, Uomo, Egoista, Negativo. So I would say with the King of Swords, the per your person basically has come out of a relationship from someone who was incredibly calculated and jealous and envious, uh, very low vibrational energy, very karmic energy, hard lessons were learnt here or is being learnt at this present time, the energy, the time of this reading. And they may have um, betrayed your person with another person here. I would say this is a male. Um, or an energy of a false divine masculine energy, a corrupt, distorted divine masculine energy, who was the enemy and someone who was very egoic and negative. We have persona furba and disonesta. So yeah, this is someone who is clever and someone who, you know, went to go for what they wanted to ga gain and get and um, this is someone who's very dishonest. So someone who was not to be trusted here, this is what has been dealt with. I do feel like you've, you, would, you had dealt with that in the past. I feel that, um, again, I feel like this is your divine masculine um, who is currently dealing with that or even healing that at this time of the reading. Maybe they've already um, healed it at this time of the reading as well. Um, I'm just going to take a very short break in a second. Um, I just want to get some mosquito cream because uh, the mosquitoes are out right now. So um, yeah, just bear with me one second please, thank you. Okay, so of course I couldn't find it, but covering up my arms at least. Right, so we have, um, what have we got here? We have, what's the time? Okay, I've got 26 minutes done. So, so yeah, I do feel that there is someone who has either closed out a cycle or is just about on the brink to close out a cycle with someone, a relationship, or even just a chapter in their life where they're moving um, prudently as well towards true love. Um, also, um, you know, I feel like this has been a slow burn as well. Um, and let's just get one more, sorry, spirit. let's get one more, please, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, spirit. We have l'imperatrice, yes, uh, ambizione, intelligenza, positiva, al matrimonio. This is what they're moving towards, yeah? This person is moving towards someone who is an empress. The energy of the goddess, you know, the energy of someone who is marriage material, this is what their end game is, their end goal is. And I feel like they're making moves towards you if this not has not happened yet. The Empress has it all. She's beautiful, she's attractive, um, she is powerful, she is magical, she is magnetic, um, she's balanced. Could also be very strong Taurus energy here as well. We have a lot of Taurus in this reading. We've also got Cancer as well, uh, very strongly. We could even have Leo and Sagittarius as well here. And maybe uh, one or two of you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you yourselves could be a Scorpionic energy. Um, I would say that um, this is the end goal, as I said before. Uh, I don't feel like th this is the Divine Feminine at the, the very end of this whole spread here. Um, so again, I feel like Divine Feminine, if this is you, this is you in the receiving mode here. And there are people that are aware of this energy, you know, people that have betrayed your person um, because they are aware, they try to manipulate them to stay, to hold on. Um, I'm hearing, stay with me. And then uh, and there's like that bit where it's all really like low vibrational. You better hold on tight, da 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 da, da to your own world. So I feel like this person was like under a spell um, by a very negative low vibrational energy. These cards are by uh, Frida Designs, by the way. She's a uh, social media contact that I know. She's based in Australia and she's incredible. Um, Frida Designs, she's just uh, got these cards out, just the Major Arcana. So we have the Fool card, the Temperance card, and the Chariot, which is exactly what we were picking up on earlier, wasn't it? So we have Temperance card doubled here. Very strong Sagittarius and Aries energy here and Cancer energy which is basically talking about a new chapter and you start not knowing exactly where you're going here in terms of this new beginning, but you're going towards it. I feel like you are the treasure and you are the end game for someone who um, is moving towards you and you will be receiving this energy here, Divine Feminines. 
Um, so that's what I see here for you. And there's a lot of uh, balance that's going to be created in this relationship. And this person is, is right behind you with a chariot here. They're, they're moving fast, uh, approaching you. There is also the moon, which does talk about, um, you know, fears maybe being revealed or something, a hidden, hidden knowledge or hidden truths that are going to be revealed here. I feel like you've already made this journey, Divine Feminine, towards your up the hill and over towards the next chapter in your life. I feel like your energy is already there and present. And this person, your Divine Masculine, is, is feeling that and is coming towards you in order to settle the energy, um, make it right as well. Bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Yeah, beautiful energy to end this reading here today, which does talk about true love. We could, we could also be dealing with a Gemini energy here where lots of mercurial energy, communication, lots of conversations, chats are also going to be taking place too. Um, again, these could be the seasons of Cancer, Caesar of Cancer, season of Cancer is uh, May and June, uh, and there, or was it, no, sorry, June and July. We also have Taurus energy season, which is May, June, um, uh, Sagittarius as well, which is no, uh, November, December and uh, the full card which is the very beginning of the whole zodiac signs which is in april and no was it no february and march and the lovers is also telling me that you are divinely connected and um there is this connection that's going to be taking place at some point of course depending on your own personal journey and your person's personal journey um this is the end goal here um i kind of just want to get one more Actually, let's get the angel answers for you. Let's just see what the angel answers are. Thank you, Spirit. What are the angel answers for the collective that need to know about this love, please? Yeah, there's no need to worry. Thank you, angels. There's absolutely no need to worry. <laughs> no need to worry because they're on their way. I'm getting the energy of the alchemist. So I don't know if you've read that book by Paulo Coelho, but it is coming through here. We have no need to worry and it's not the right time. Maybe it hasn't been the right time. For this person to approach you just because you had to clear out a cycle um, before you taking a leap of faith towards your new chapter and phase in your life and take the lead as well um, that's what usually happens with divine feminines and then we also have this divine masculine who said you know maybe right now is not the right time um, to come into physical union but now uh, with absence making the heart go grow fonder kind of thing uh, i feel like they're now ready to move towards you some of you for a lot of you, this person is already on their way, and it will be the perfect timing when it does take place, yeah? It will be the perfect timing when it does take place. Some of you could be in a relationship or even a marriage within a year from now. Congratulations as well. I won't be surprised as well. There's a lot of that energy um, and intention in this reading. Let's get two more. And uh, we have recovery and look for a sign. Some of you um, are going to some of you have been recovering from the separation relationship as well some of you are also recovering financial losses on account of a divorce or a relationship as well maybe even a loss of a job as well the tower card is telling me that um 2020 and 2021 has made huge upheaval changes in your life your mindset as well what's important um and this was necessary in order for for you to be on the right path in terms of love and also work which is all about your divine your divine path yeah uh, look for a sign that was a huge sign a wake-up call for a lot of you um archangel michael is coming through here to say that um he's always been present and it's maybe some of you have this connection with archangel michael and archangel raphael as well who are both helping you in particular to clear out the energies of low vibration um and toxicity i'm hearing as well um i'm also hearing heal the world as well so a lot of you are light workers to be honest, this is very common in divine love matches as well, isn't it? Let's get one more card. I feel like there's one more. And take action. That, and that's the very um, mercurial energy and Sagittarius energy, uh, the cardinal energy that's coming through from your divine masculine. Um, and within the next few weeks, within the next few weeks, there could be a change in this connection. So thank you so much, all of you, for taking the time to listen to this reading. I really appreciate you. Um, yes, right now I'm not taking personal readings. Um, but please do check in on my channel to see other videos as well that I will be posting. I've deleted quite a few of my uh, playlist, Abstract Medicine, um, just because I wanted to start something new, basically. Uh, again, I'm not no longer going to be posting on Instagram, so 
best way to tune into my videos uh, in terms of general readings and cartomancy and everything else spiritual is best here on YouTube as well. I will let you know when I take up private sessions as well. Thank you so much for your energy and take care. Bye for now. Thank you. Bye for now.